Hi, my name is Evie Ellsbury. I'm an associate at DWF Law LLP. Um, I've been with the firm nearly 10 years now, which is a bit insane. I started out on an apprenticeship route, so it was a little bit different. Um, I work in the professional indemnity department in Leeds, and we specialise in professional negligence and commercial insurance. So the reason I chose a career in law was honestly my mum. Uh, she was a benefits appeals officer for Leeds City Council, and she pushed law because she thought I'd be good at it, she thought I'd enjoy it and well you should always listen to your mum and here I am now so yeah I did the right thing listening to her. Um, I'm a chartered legal executive so I qualified via Silex um, and for me it was just a great way in because it meant I got all the education all the experience without any of the student fees and my DWF and what was Triton before it was acquired by DWF paid for my education um, and yeah it was invaluable. Um, it was a tough apprenticeship it took about five years but yeah, definitely no regrets about going that way. Um, the way I chose what firm to apply to was honestly a bit random. Um, so I think I mentioned my mum worked for Leeds City Council and there was a job on a local intranet that was advertising for a legal apprenticeship. It was quite unheard of at the time, it was unusual. Um, and I just applied for it and it was with the firm Triton, um, previously Robin Simon LLP. And yeah, I went for an interview there um, when I was 19 and it was, yeah, intense, but it, it all worked out for the best. Uh, so the way my apprenticeship was structured was four years of exams and then two years of qualified employment, but one of the years overlapped with your final year of study. So the first two years was a level three qualification um, where you did a, a variety of different legal subjects that was like kind of broad spectrum. Um, and then for the last two years, it was a level six qualification, so equivalent to a degree. Um, and we specialised, so I specialised in contract law, tort, employment law and civil litigation um, alongside various coursework units and um, yeah, so after that year you obviously had your graduation which was still quite nice that even though I didn't go to uni I still got my graduation and wore my cap and gown and had the whole day um, and then yeah, the final year of qualified employment I had to prepare a portfolio um, and Silex set various objectives that you have to hit and demonstrate that you can do in order to qualify um, so that portfolio was submitted and then eventually um, Silex signed it off and that was when I qualified. My area of expertise is professional indemnity insurance and professional negligence. So it works a bit like car insurance is how I describe it to most people. Obviously if you're in a car accident you make a claim on your insurance. The clients I deal with have been accused of being negligent or have been accused of making a mistake. They notify their insurers and their insurers then respond and instruct us as panel solicitors to deal with the claim. It's really wide variety because it's professional negligence, it can be anything and everything. One minute I can be dealing with a dentist, uh, an accountant, a solicitor, an architect, an IT professional, anything and everything. And the variety is what I enjoy about it because I never see the same thing twice. Um, it's really enjoyable and I'm, I'm glad I picked that as my <laughs> specialism. So I am handling my own files now, I have been for quite a long time. So I work generally with the director or partner at DWF and I do the day-to-day -day handling of any files. Um, the file I did recently, I was at a mediation in Bristol last week on an accountant's negligence matter. It was to do with an alleged negligent advice on a tax avoidance scheme. Um, very interesting case, there was some really interesting allegations about secret commissions and things like that. And yeah, it was settled at mediation last week, so it was a nice win. What I enjoy the most is the variety. Um, I think sometimes things can get a bit samey. I never have that. I always have something interesting, something new. It's always a different area of law. It's always slight nuances to things I may have seen before. Um, no two professionals are the same. So, and the cases are never the same because obviously accountants deal with a variety of clients themselves. So no two people are the same. Um, so that's definitely the best. What I enjoy the least, uh, it can be quite stressful um, and demanding. Um, last minute court deadlines, instructions, where you get a defence due in three days, there's always a lot of pressure to deal with those things quickly, because um, obviously the ramifications for my clients if they miss court deadlines is they're going to get a judgement against them and they could be left holding a bill for a lot of money, so that can be quite a lot of pressure. I'm very lucky actually, I'm actually going to some business development drinks tonight, um, I'm, my boss has always been very keen to get me involved in that side of the business, I've had trips to Dublin to meet clients, I've had, been all over the country meeting different clients. Um, yeah, they're very, very supportive and they're very keen, especially as a junior, for me to meet other juniors in other places because they, they say, you know, the people we meet now will be the people that you follow through your career. Um, and the juniors that are now junior won't be in 10 years. 
um, and it's always good to get to know people now because we can grow together and I think that's a really nice way to think. I really enjoy working for DWF, they've been really supportive of my career throughout, they obviously have, I've, it's always been made clear to me that I'll be backed as far as I want to go. Um, and they're just a really supportive firm and there's a very nice work-life balance. So even though the job's quite demanding and can be quite stressful, they are very keen on supporting their members of staff. Um, they've won awards for the last, since 2018, about work from working families charities, about how well their policies adapt to the working life. And yeah, they're very good at creating that balance while still having quite a demanding job, which is a tough one. You need to be dedicated because <laughs> it's difficult. Um, a little bit stubborn, I think, helps sometimes because ultimately when you're a defendant lawyer, your whole job is to go in there and say, well, my client didn't do anything wrong. Um, and you have to be able to put forward a strong case because some claimant firms can be quite aggressive. And I think it takes a little bit of something to be able to go, actually, you can be as aggressive as you like, but my client's not done anything wrong and I'm going to back them. Um, so I think you've got to have a little bit of gumption. I think we have a really healthy culture, actually. There's a lot of variety things so we have encouraged to do what we call CSR corporate social responsibility we have get two volunteer days a year to go volunteer at local charities I've been lucky enough this year to do a day at a baby bank in Leeds which was nice I spent a day rather than dealing with angry emails dealing with baby ba baby clothes so that was quite nice um yeah so that side's brilliant and then they also have they do a lot of sports. I'm personally not very into sports, so it's a bit lost on me. Um, but I know they have netball tournaments. Um, my team play regularly in a five-a-side league. Um, so there's definitely a healthy mix of things and there's always events going on, drinks and socials. We have a young professionals group, um, which circulates events every few months and encourages you to go out in your local area to meet people in different professions. I would describe the firm in three words with welcoming, upcoming and inclusive. The biggest opportunity I've had since joining my firm has been the opportunity to go in-house onto comments to insurers. So I've been lucky enough to work in-house at two different insurers for a period of about 18 months across my career. And obviously there's a nice element of my job where whilst we are doing the law and it is professional negligence, there is also that insurance side to consider. And we're often instructed to advise on commercial uh, coverage disputes and things like that. And it's nice seeing how the insurance world works from an in-house perspective. It gives you a whole new way of working and dealing with your files um, when you understand what it is the insurer client really needs to know. Um, and I think it's definitely benefited me in my career. My dream holiday destination at the moment is actually Lapland. Um, I'm getting married next year, so we are planning a honeymoon in Lapland, if all being well. <laughs>